Okay, it's time for some momentum problems here. Um, oops, I lost my question. I have a question up top here about a water balloon that's being thrown against a wall. And we're going to use the formulas down here on the, on the bottom of the screen in order to solve this problem. We have a momentum equation right here on the left hand side. I have everything broken down. Momentum is P, mass M, velocity is V. The only thing that I'm lacking on here is my unit of momentum which is going to be kilograms times meters per second. Um, you can also call momentum's units uh, newton seconds. It's however you want to do it. I'm going to stick with kilograms times meters per second. Um, it's a very straightforward formula. No, no tricks to it or anything. One of the kind of deviations that we can do on the momentum equation is this one on the right hand side. Delta P is equal to M delta V. What this means is change in momentum. So if you have an object like the, the question that's up here at the top of the screen that is hitting something and has a change in momentum, we can use this equation right here that's underlined. Uh, main thing to remember is that delta V means V final minus V initial. It's exactly the same delta V from this equation where you find acceleration and you have change in velocity over time. We're just going to do final minus initial. And something to remember that's kind of important, it's right there, is that we can have a positive and a negative velocity. Remember that we can use negative signs to show direction. So if we have a negative velocity, that could indicate that the object is moving to the left or away from the origin. And that's exactly what we're going to do in these problems. So we have the problem up above about a water balloon. So, I mean, if you can imagine, we have a balloon that's being thrown at a wall. And if you throw a water balloon at a wall, it's not going to bounce back at you. What's going to happen here at the moment of impact is that balloon's going to explode and water's going to go everywhere. It's going to go splat. But there's still going to be a momentum change or the, the balloon would never have busted. So, if we look at our problem up above, we'll see that we have a mass of 0 0.50 kilograms and that it, it has a speed of 32 meters per second. So that gives us a velocity. And then it says it comes to a stop. So what that tells me is that this is um, VI and that VF is going to be zero because if you stop, your speed is zero. And it says what is the change in momentum. So as soon as it says change in momentum, I've got the, the 2V problem. So we're going to plug this in to P is equal to M delta V. M is 0 0.50 kilograms. Velocity is going to be 0 minus 32 meters per second. And if we work this out, we'll end up with an answer of negative 16 kilograms meters per second. So right here is my answer to the problem. It's a negative because the change in momentum when it hit was to send it back the other direction. So the momentum rebounded basically to the left. Now, I have a, another variation of this problem, if I can get it to show up here, which is this time we use a bouncy ball. Instead of a balloon, we take our same wall and we take a, a ball of the same mass. This, this ball has a mass of the same way that the balloon did, of 0 0.50 kilograms and we throw it at the wall and we know that if you hit a wall with a bouncy ball what it's going to do is it's going to rebound and it's going to come back off the wall. Well when you throw it at the wall it, it hits at 32 meters per second and you should know that it's basically going to come back at you at the same speed. Um, for all intents and purposes it's going to come back at at you at 32 meters per second. But you notice they change directions. The top one goes to the right, the bottom one goes to the left. So that means we're going to call this bottom one negative 32 meters per second. My problem just simply says it bounces back with the same speed, but we're going to have to be smarter than the problem and make sure that we give it a negative, um, a negative velocity because of the direction change. That's going to help us out here. VI is going to be positive 32 meters per second and VF is going to be negative 32 meters per second. We're still finding change in momentum. So same formula we had before, P is equal to M delta V. M is 0.5, just like the last problem. But this time we have negative 32 minus 32 for our velocity. 
if you don't make this number negative, you're going to end up with positive 32 minus 32, and you're going to end up with a momentum of zero. And if that ball bounces back off of the wall, there's no possible way it's got a momentum of zero. Um, the only way you have a momentum of zero is if you have no velocity whatsoever, and you know the ball does. So that should be a sign to you that something is wrong. This will add up to be negative 64, and you'll end up with a final answer of, oops, I left the kilograms out, of negative 32 kilograms meter per second. All right, so the comparison is, well, this is twice the momentum because it's bouncing back. It's not just going splat. So there you have it. There's how to work problems that bounce.